Hello everyone, today's video is an interesting one. I will be covering what I think are the biggest updates of each year in Tanky Online's history. This video will cover the years of 2009 to 2024, so sit back and relax. Just keep in mind that this is just my opinion and there are no real biggest updates of each year. If you have a different opinion, please leave it down in the comments. Let's get into it. 2009. The release of the game. The release of Tanky Online is widely known as June 4th, 2009, but that's when open testing began. The actual main server was released shortly after. The game audience had just started to form and developers were quickly playing with the first users. The prices in the garage were vastly different compared to now, and there were tons of bugs and glitches. There's a lot of stuff to cover here, so if you guys would like a video dedicated to Tanky Online's release, let me know. It's also worth to mention that it was in 2009 when the first generation of turrets and halls were released. Railgun, Firebird, Isida, Smokey, Twins, Titan Hunter and Wasp. 2010. The release of the second generation of turrets and halls. In 2010, six new pieces of equipment were added to the roster. Viking, Hornet, Mammoth, Thunder, Freeze, Ricochet. They were all added in the space of a couple of months. However, Ricochet was too overpowered and Freeze was only good for slowing tanks down, so they decided to just remove them from every player's garage and refund their crystals to work on rebalancing them. 2011. Shaft. Shaft was released on June 29th of 2011, and its release caused a furor in the community. Tens of thousands of shafts were being bought hourly. To no one's surprise, it required rebalancing as it was OP. It underwent rebalancing and people who bought it previously had their crystals refunded and could choose if they wanted to buy the new balance shaft. 2012. New graphics and rebalance. On September 6, 2012, a big update was released. It added completely new graphics in the control points mode. Control points was appreciated, but the reception on the new graphics was mixed. Certainly the biggest update of 2012 was the rebalance. It was released on December 17th. On this update, everyone's account was reset. Everything was refunded and all players had nothing in their garages and had to buy new things. Three new ranks were added and all turrets and halls were now equal. Many players were displeased with this update, but it needed to happen to kickstart a new era of the game. 2013. Economy change and micro upgrades. On February 12th, all parameters related to crystals were increased by 10 times, except battle funds, which were made to grow slower. For instance, if something before the update costed 100,000 crystals, now it cost 1 million. In late December, micro upgrades were finally added to the game after a long period of testing. Interestingly, during testing, micro upgrades were actually luck based and were not guaranteed to be successful. Fortunately, the developers gave up on this mechanic. 2014. Changes to Supplies and Hammer On September 29th, smart cooldowns were added to supplies. This meant that players could not just mindlessly activate all three supplies at once anymore, and it was added to limit the advantage of players with tons of supplies. Another change to supplies was the addition of drop zones in November. On the 17th of December 2014, Hammer was released, and it was a shotgun turret, a completely new innovation for the game. 2015. Vulcan, Daily Missions, and Premium Account. Not long after Hammer, January 29th, 2015 saw the addition of Vulcan, the machine gun turret. Summer saw the release of Daily Missions, a new way of obtaining items in the game. They replaced Daily Login Awards, and they were also used to re-implement the elusive Hornet XT and Railgun XT into the game. Later on, more XT halls and turrets were released. A bit before Halloween, Premium Accounts, a paid subscription that gives several bonuses were added. This update has its controversies, but judge it yourself. 2016. Paint Separation, Alterations and Striker On July 14, 2016, paints no longer had protections and they were separated into two parts. The paint element, which was purely for aesthetics, and the protection module, which was solely for protective purposes. On September 22nd, the first batch of alterations, now called augments, were released into the game. These alterations changed the way a turret works. On December 23rd, 2016, a new rocket launcher turret called Striker was released. 2017. Magnum, Matchmaking, and Overdrives. On March 23rd, one of the most hated turrets in the game, Magnum, was released. It was a pretty unique turret to say the least. On July 12th, the Overdrive mechanic arrived into the game. 
It was different in comparison to now, and it gave every supply to the user and nearby allies. On October 12th, one of the most hated updates in the history of the game was released, matchmaking. This update combined all the battles into one big list and made finding a battle automatic. The addition of containers is also worth to mention. 2018. Cosmetic changes, drones and juggernaut. On June 4th of 2018, Tenki saw the release of a brand new supply, drones. They were powered by using unique batteries and they gave various benefits to the user. Shortly after, the first XD skins were added into the game, Hornet and Railgun. With this update, all existing XT items became skins and no longer gave any benefits aside their cool looks. July 20th saw the release of Juggernaut, a long-awaited battle mode. On November 3rd, shot effects were released, a way to customize the color of your turret's shots. 2019, new overdrives, Gauss, and HTML5. In April of 2019, every hall got its own unique overdrive. I could go over all of them, but I'm really sure you know what they all do. On June 7th, the new Gauss turret was released. In September of 2019, yet another controversial update was released. The release of the HTML5 client. It needed to be done, with the shutting down of Flash ever approaching. 2020. MK System, Crisis in Hovering Halls. On January 17, 2020, the M0 to M3 system was changed to the MK1 to MK7 system. Don't ask me why. MK1 is the equivalent to the old M0, and MK7 is the equivalent to the old M3. Everything in between is MK2 to MK6. On June 4th, the Crisis Drone was released. It's a drone that significantly boosts the power of supplies, but you can only have one activated at a time. 2020 also saw the release of Hovering Hulls, a new generation of hulls. First was Ares in July, then Hopper in September, and finally Crusader in late December. In early December of 2020, Flash support officially died. Can we get an RIP in the chat? 2021. HD skins, Tesla and Paladin. The first large update of 2021 included a remastered skin for Smokey, Smokey HD, along with several new Smokey augments. It began the process of remastering every turret and hull to give it its own unique HD skin. At the end of July, a new electrical turret called Tesla was released. And was it a monster? Late September saw the release of the Paladin Hall and Ultra Containers, but it was only released to the public a month and a half later. It is also worth to mention the first remastered map was released, Sandbox Remastered. 2022, HD Boxes, Pulsar and Scorpion. On April 1st of 2022, supply boxes were remastered to look HD, and parachutes were replaced with cargo drones. 2022 also saw the release of the notorious Pulsar Augments, Augments which inflicted many different status effects on Critical Hit. On June 24th, early access for the new Scorpion turret was released. It was a long-awaited artillery turret, and you could actually use it in the arms race mode prior to its release. 2023 Drone Rebalance Keys On April 14th of 2023, many drones were removed from the game. Driver, Trooper, Engineer, Sprinter, Miner, Supplier, Assault, Lifeguard, Blaster and Camper. This is done to gradually introduce hull augments that will grant these effects. On December 22nd, 2023, containers were replaced with keys. Players could convert their containers to keys for one key per 10 containers. 2024. Bots, Grenades and Rubies. September 6th saw the release of the first grenade, Bomb. On September 27th, bots could now join battles in all ranks from Recruit to Legend. Finally, on October 25th, a new currency called Rubies were added. They basically swapped tank coins. Tank coins became a more premium currency, and you can now convert your existing tank coins into Rubies. 